Hello, I'm Professor Rob Middleton at Bournemouth University. Uh, the Orthopaedic Research Institute at Bournemouth University has been working with the Royal Bournemouth Hospital and Poole Hospitals to support patients with osteoarthritis during the coronavirus crisis. We've produced a series of seven videos that explain about osteoarthritis and the simple things you can do at home to relieve your symptoms. I hope you enjoy these videos. What we see when people have osteoarthritis is normally we get a characterisation of muscle weakness around the joint. This muscle weakness can be bilateral, so not just the affected side but also the unaffected side. We find that muscles are reduced in size. We also find that muscles can be inhibited. The pain can inhibit the way the muscles work, so that means that they, they don't function properly. And we also get decreased muscle quality, so the quality of your muscle contractions isn't as good as it could be. This is also accompanied by other comorbidities which are prevalent in people with osteoarthritis. What you may not be aware of is that if you've got arthritis, you've got increased risk of metabolic, cardiovascular and mental health issues. So men metabolic syndromes such as diabetes and high blood pressure are much more prevalent in people with osteoarthritis when compared to people who haven't got osteoarthritis. Cardiovascular disease is the same, so things such as high blood, high blood pressure are much more likely in those people with osteoarthritis. And depression and anxiety are also heightened and more prevalent in populations of people with arthritis. So what can we do about this? Well, according to the experts, everyone who has arthritis should receive education so that they know that exercise and increasing their physical activity levels will actually help their joint pain. Also so that they can manage their weight and feel much more positive about their condition. We know that some people may benefit from drugs or injections. In an actual fact, very few people require surgery. So why exercise? Well, if you read The Lancet, which is one of our most prestigious medical journals, there are now over 20 chronic illnesses and diseases that benefit from increased exercise or physical activity. And we've got a few just on the screen here. If you exercise, you'll lower your risk of cardiovascular disease, you'll lower your risk of diabetes, you'll reduce your risk of falls, you'll help to control your weight, you'll benefit from improved psychological well-being, you'll find you'll have increased stamina and energy, stronger bones and muscles, and also increased mobility and flexibility.